What's up YouTube, this is John and back with TLD, going to be reviewing the iMovie application for the iPhone 4. As a quick note, if you guys have an iPod Touch 3GS, it will not work, it's only supported on the new iPhone 4, so just giving you guys a quick heads up, that way you guys don't go out and waste 5 bucks. So let's go ahead and launch the app, uh, you guys can see it loads pretty instantly, pretty much instantly, which is good, it takes advantage of the new speed uh, with the iPhone 4, you get an option tap to uh, plus to start a new project. You guys can take a look at, right now we have five themes. I wouldn't be surprised though uh, down the road if we get updates to see more themes. So I'm going to select the first one. Go ahead and turn now. Let's go. I'm sure everyone who reviewed this probably selected the first one. Let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, we'll select bright. Let's see how that is. Leave the music on. Done. Now from here you have two options. You can either insert uh, media that you previously recorded, whether that be video uh, or photos, or you can actually record on the go, on the fly. Uh, and insert it right there. Maybe you need a little piece that wasn't there, you guys can pop it in there. So I recorded a couple pieces before this uh, just to mess around with, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop those in here. I'm out in Texas visiting my girlfriend's family, uh, so I jacked her nephew's uh, Spider-Man. Let's go ahead and pop them in there. You guys can see right here, just to scrub as you would on the old iPhone, uh, touch there, you can bring them in, cut it down, uh, chop down a, a, a clip basically, now I haven't seen this covered. I was a little bit uh, confused how to add text to the clip in the iMovie 4. So actually I might uh, use this as part of a video of a how-to, but actually you take the clip, whatever clip that you want the text on, and you double tap it, and that'll give you a little pop-up menu. So you can opt to have the location of where you're at. You can turn the audio to the clip on or off, and then you can actually uh, title it. So let's go ahead and put this right here. Select opening, tap right there, and you guys can uh, select the text we're gonna go ahead and put let's see spider-man so you guys can see everything's pretty much instantaneous it works well we're gonna go back press play there's the preloaded music you guys can see as it follows down right here uh, it pretty much loads it as it up so let's go ahead and add one more clip and then we can maybe uh, transition these two together second clip more spider-man and you guys can see as we scrub uh, we have the actual transition let's go ahead and Press play. I'm gonna go back one more time for you guys, just so we can see that transition. So I'm gonna start out from the beginning. Uh, we have the title that we added. You see the location of where we're at. There's the pre-rolled music from Apple on the iMovie. Nice little crossfade going on, so the video quality is good. It's very easy to use, it doesn't lag at all. Um, so far, I'm very impressed with the iMovie application, especially not only for editing movies, but maybe for YouTubers on the go. Uh, you guys can make a quick video or review. Uh, the microphone's decent. Uh, everything looks good, sounds good, you have a lot of export options. Um, so once you're happy with your uh, little customized clip, uh, that's the wrong button, let me get out of there. Uh, go ahead and flip that back. Once you're done with that, you guys will go back to the projects menu. Um, you can either play it and see it kind of in uh, widescreen mode as you would watching it from your camera roll. Or if you're done with that, go back and you have a couple options. You can either export it to uh, three settings, either medium, large, or HD and 720p. And from there, that's when you would basically upload it to YouTube and get that HD look. So that's been this review. Uh, definitely worth the money. Again, it only works on the iPhone 4, but I'll catch you guys later. And as always, feel free to subscribe.